Hello guys, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We last finished off with going to Chapter 2. After watching, you know, one of our buddies dying. She's a girl. Uh, Seiko's dead. View the Chapter 2 opening. Well, yeah. Okay. Phew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. And why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Why are they... Well, she's in her underwear, but why, why are they... Freaking Kishiro, I'm, I'm Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around damn to him pummel... Oh, the pummel horse. Gulp? Oh, that's Seiko. Naomi, this is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? That booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. Really, people? Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. Hey, hey. You do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Okay. Whoa, okay. No. Oh god, we're back to this. Screaming now. Chapter 2. Oh, I just got sadder. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Please, chatter. Gas, gas, splatter, wheeze. Shinazaki. It's alright. Please calm down. But, you heard it too. Outside, her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I wouldn't give her something from around here either. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and you can see and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? <laughs> Miss Yui, wait, don't leave us. Well, I, I wouldn't. Shunazaki. It's always last It's okay, teach. I'll keep an eye on Shunazaki. Oh, okay. I like that guy. Or, better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance, until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No. Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kim Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. His name's Yoshiki, don't call him by his last name. No problem. I'd rather if the teach could actually call them by their names. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. 
My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. Let's go see if we can get Naomi. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part. One sec, guys. I gotta do a quick jump cut. Okay, guys, sorry about that jump cut there. Um, my One of my animals, I guess, went and got sick, and I had to, you know, had to help the cat. So, anyway, I'll just read this again. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. See, so yeah, I had a slight animal problem, but that's all over. Valor, thy name is education. Controller now? Wait. Is this road open? No, but... Hmm? Is a key, isn't it? A label on the key reads 3A. Take it. The choir across from 3A key. No teachers allowed on the third floor. Oh, yep, that's gonna stop her. I feel like I know this. It's like it's the same area of the school, but completely different at the same time. Two way, the door seems fixed. Front six. So we got 3A key. Class of 3A, the door is now unlocked. Whoa, spooky. Yes, sensei. Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I'm, I heard of I heard one of my students screaming, and I've s and I oh, and have set out to find her. So. I see. Regrettably. That won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions, which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or... Maybe you can find some means of transferring the planes freely, as they do. <laughs> Considering this fair warning, even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's scream um, em emanated, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't there, not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice! It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. The scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from future. Who's to say? Uh, with this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I, just, I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Okay, teacher, you're being a bit of a bitch. Your shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement, cut kitchen knives, surgical tools, um, chisels, etc. All appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be an ex exceptionally heavy. 19, day duty. Okay, that's just it. Nothing else in this room? <laughs> Whoa, okay! Step aside! Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporal? <gasps> an earthquake? Shit! 
in all the world, the most vile and trustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students, you're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Ugh, this really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep the, your distance. Because you're sure, you sure wouldn't want to get involved, have you kept up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them, little by little, until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disappointing them, you're just raging at them. That's not. I've never met a teacher who actually cared about his students, not once. You're... you're wrong. Uh, all of your students are destined to starve to death for the godforsaken halls. If they don't um, succumb to the depression and kill themselves first, there's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Oh my god. That's probably crushing all of her insides. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to the students as I end their miserable lives. Oh my god. Spare. <laughs> oh, you just gonna laugh. Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me, just please, spare their lives. They're not your children, you're not their mother, are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar, did you know? When you die in this accursed place, the experience you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. But you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Ask me to spare you. It wasn't really what you, but uh, it's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? You're one stubborn little bitch. Uh, oh, crap. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pressing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like the dead frog on the side of the road. You're insane. Everybody. Live. I love you all. Oh my god! Meanwhile, that's two death. Whoa, another earthquake. No, it's not an earthquake, it was what just happened. I think it's over. What, what's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta go search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone, and we miss each other along the way? We're going! Uh, alright, alright, already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's make sure we come back to this room, okay? Stop crying. How about we leave her a note? Shinazaki, do you have anything I could write with? 
got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss <laughs> Yuo, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. It's your fault if we have to leave her a message at all, at all you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Okay, now is there like a... There's a purple key. If we can get to that. Wait, what's this sign say? Heavenly House of Mention is all packed with students, sale activities, that's... I don't think everybody realizes where they are yet. First, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get a hold of that key. No. Okay then. It's ungrabable. We're gonna go down first. Mainly to see if we can find candle or something. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class trip should notice these famous scary time candles. There's not a student two nine who hasn't um intimately familiar with them, right? You're kidding. There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the honor rep of Kirizaki for a reason. So how about? We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. There'll be a signal flares for Makoda and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shizodo are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems like she's trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Oh, we've seen that candle too! Come on, let's go. Okay. Have we seen this candle in chapter one too? Hey, things are coming together. Cool. Now to go find Miss Teacher Lady, who is probably dead. Well, no, not probably. She's dead. What? The, looks like the dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Huey, where are you? I'm really worried. Oh. Uh. What's this one say? Uh, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. With the past one, new children who got missing with authorities quickly, okay. Oh, the bodies of the abandoned just were discovered. Authorities, okay. Each of the corpses disappeared. Yeah, we've read that before. Okay. So I'm guessing we have to go to the third floor and make a roundabout. That's my guess. Yeah, we go. See, now it's so broken because we're not the teacher lady. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in the school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. Okay. A crude picture seemingly drawn by a child prints on the shelves. Four slimmer children all surrounding an adult and merely stabbing him to death. Oh my god. How unsettling. Rows of dead bugs. Nothing interesting there. Whoa, okay. What the? Ouch. Okay, what's the problem? Okay. Fuck you. Looks like we're going down and around. Hey, one sec, guys. I just gotta do something right quick. Um. So 
So as you can see, I'm just going to be standing still for a moment. Uh, one sec. Almost. Okay. Back to going down. So apparently we may have wasted our time going that way. And the music just got creepy. Really creepy. Um, living friends who are not able who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Okay, that's not helpful. Anyway, guys, um, we're going to have to end the video here for today. Yes, it's kind of short, but we're going to have to end the video here because I've got uh, no more time tonight. Um, so please come like, subscribe, tell me what you guys think of this series, and as usual, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see all you guys then. Hopefully. See ya.